All right, so visiting Vicky Vale's parents. You should be a dick. He shows up as Bruce Wayne. He's like, so, well, you know, I proposed to your daughter, right? And we're moving out right now. <laughs> what? So according to Vicky, her parents got fucked up, you know, are, you know, illegally imprisoned in, in Arkham. So the question is, how the fuck are they out now and how are they? I'm inside the Vale house. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Oh, how nice! Alfred? The drug. The bales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it. Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Uh. I mean, it was Vicky. Why did Vicky have killed her own parents? Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's huh. escalating. This seems personal. Yeah, weird. Why would she do this to her parents if she cared about them? Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Veil heating and oil, you saw that? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. The hell is that? Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Okay. Different things we need to link. Let's look at the body. Eyes gouged eyes out. Gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yuck. There's an <clears throat> injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. So even stronger drug than what he had been given. Duh, of course that links. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Why would she kill her own mom? Because the adopted kid. Blood going to the next room. Great. It's Is that clean. The knife? This wasn't used as a murder weapon. No, that wasn't why it. Why was it lying on the floor? Nothing else in here. What's this? Hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Hmm. Maybe hair with the with the knife? Yeah. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Huh. Okay, so we still don't know what this hole is. I don't see anything else in this room. I think we're gonna have to go through that pantry. See what we see in here with all these fucking scrape marks and blood. Ah! Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. And the scent. Company logo. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Is that what made the hole in the wall? Yeah. Yep. And over here. Haha. -ha. 
Yep. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. So she ripped the shit out of him with it. <laughs> and then the logo to the picture. Haha. Uh -huh. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents. Damn. But only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred. What the fuck? I think someone's still in the house. What Going the hell? Going to look hell? for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. It's the pet cat stuck in the fucking uh, closet. <laughs> Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. I like how they show wood. Like the wood, it, it's not on fire, but it's hot. The stairs? It looks like there's a room under the stairs. Yep. There's someone here. It's under a boy. The stairs, alive. Batman was all wrong. The boy is the killer. The boy did it. From the photo. Got another kid looking for right? a hand a handout. <laughs> Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. How about you come on out? No. No. Go away. He's afraid of the Batman. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Send him to punishment? Thank you. The hell? Get down. Oh my god, what is that? Like a drone or something. Oh yes, the bulletproof uh, well, cape. Hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Tell me. Let me guess, you're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. <laughs> uh, there we go, I was gonna say. Yeah. 
Go. The hell? Nothing? Now. Haha. -ha. Smash that shit. Oh wow, cuts it in half. Nice. The kid saved Batman. Nice work, kid. He's the new Robin. <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't know my parents were dead. They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Cool, can we go get some ice cream? Batman. Fuck no! I'm Batman. I don't get ice cream. The fuck's he your problem? The only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus, was this the children of Arkham again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, <laughs> the reporter? <laughs> so, who's the boy then? Oh, here's my young ward. Don't bother him. He'll be the next Robin. He was hiding in a closet when the attack started. He may know more than he realizes. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. What the? I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Damn, Gordon's off the case. Home sweet home. 